This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you guys are interested in starting your own website, make sure you guys head over to squarespace.com and start your free trial. And you can also head over to squarespace.com forward slash YC Imaging for 10% off your first purchase. Link will be down in the description. Yo, what's good guys? I am at my local dollar store. I just had a brilliant idea. I wanna go in here and see if I can get some things to create some in-camera video effects, music video effects per se. The great thing about in-camera effects is that you don't have to add them in post. Speeds of the process makes everything easier, everything more efficient. So uh, let me switch over to my phone because I want to be incognito. Let's go in there and see what we can find for a dollar. All right, let's get this thing rolling. We are now on the incognito camera. What I'm thinking is we can get a bunch of things that do cool looking stuff in front of the lens. Gym stickers. This looks... That's fire. Can you put that in there for me? Yeah, the toy section is beastie, yo. It's a bunch of different stuff here. Ooh, the iridescent folder. I don't know what you could do with it, this. It looks funny. I mean, it looks cool. That looks fire. Let's get that. Paper make, paper make, paper. Let's look at something else. What do you want? I, mean, I want Play-Doh. Oh, no. Nah, you tripping. I was thinking you could make like a circle or something, right. depending on how clear this is, right. and let it dry and peel it up, and then you can shoot through it like, like glitter. Oh my God, that's genius, y'all. Let's try it. Add it. Yo. Oh, you can, oh, I don't know. It might work. Oh, wait, what else? Wait, what is this? So let's get the, let's get these thick ones right here. <laughs> These? Yeah, the thick boys. They all thick. <laughs> yeah, we want the thick boys. Well, these I, I are, like these these are thicker. That we got glasses. Actual glasses. These too easy. You know, we don't skip these. The glasses are awesome though. Make sure y'all definitely go use the glasses that y'all got in y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the color one. You can... Ooh, you, oh. Nah, no, 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 no. You don't even know what I'm about to say. All right. What you gonna say? <laughs> That's, that's crazy, you just automatically yeah, think my idea was going to be bad. Let's get one, let's get one, let's try it. Ooh, yeah, 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 get that, get that, get that. What? The, the strainer? The, yeah, the strainer, get the strainer. I might yes, use this the for my trip. Yes, ooh, it might be the one to cop that. Yeah, let's get that. Becky okay. and Chris would have cop that, I already know. No, it's brown, they would never have cop that. Yes, you don't do brown. Brown, yeah, <laughs> you are. Ooh, yeah, we need a flashlight, let's do a flashlight too. Let's do this uh, mini flashlight right here. Definitely want to do that. All right, I think we're gonna just use what we got. We got more than enough stuff to create some dope effects. I'm hoping anyways. Check out, tell y'all how much I paid. Set this stuff up, get these effects rolling. We'll talk about it later in the office where I have more clear understanding of what this stuff actually does. But I know it's gonna be dope, I already know. All right, so we're back at the crib. I wanna share really quick the stuff that we got from the dollar store that we're gonna dive in in a second and do some in camera effects with this is like a plastic tray i don't know it has like these cool grooves and ridges on it i think if we shine light through this onto the subject it would look pretty cool and obviously in front of the lens it would look probably really dope too and if this stuff bombs i'm going to let y'all know too it's no guarantee that what i've just picked up is going to be cool but whatever man it's cool it's going to be a, a fun video the next thing that we got is a sink strainer it has the holes in it what I'm thinking that this will do is it will give us an effect that's similar to that uh, Black Pro Mist to give us like a very soft and uh, a very soft look on the skin and just uh, bloom off the highlights. So we'll see what this does. Next is we got these gem stickers. Now these I saw doing some stuff, but I don't know if these are clear or not. So um, if these are clear, we should get some really cool effects on the lens. The next thing we got is this iridescent folder. I like this. It has like the color change in effect right here. This looks dope. Next thing we got is a light bulb. Never go wrong with a light bulb for some in-camera effects. Where is my focus box at? Got a flashlight. You can never go wrong with a flashlight. Well, actually you can. I tried to get a flashlight for a music video at one time and it created those really weird lines in the footage. Hopefully this does not do that. Next thing we got is some reading glasses. Never really go wrong with these either. Remove the lens from these and wave it in front of the lens. You get some really dope effects with these. We got some glitter glue. Um, Millie had a really dope suggestion about this. She said that if we put out a layer of it, let it dry, maybe put it over the lens, we can get like some glitter in the shots. I don't know, hopefully this is just like, um, this is just an epiphany at this point, just an idea, just uh, just a thought. So hopefully we can get some dope stuff with this. And last but not least, we got this blue cup. All 
third time recording this, third time attempting to record this. I'm back in the office, I've done the filming, I've looked back at the footage, I'm ready to reflect on these items that we picked up at the dollar store and how they affect your image. I wanna talk about the things that I liked, uh, some of the things being my favorite, and some interesting finds that I did run into doing this video. So uh, let's get into it. First of all, I wanna say that everything that I picked up at the dollar store did have some sort of effect but I decided to just talk about the items that had effects that were uh, unique. A lot of the items had effects that were similar of some of the other items. So uh, first and foremost, let's talk about the flashlight because you can never really go wrong with a flashlight, honestly. I feel like every cinematographer should have some sort of flashlight in their bag. The flares that you can get from these flashlights is just awesome. That's an extra spunk to footage and also an extra source of energy if that's something that you're going for, depending on how you're going to be using this in a shot. So. You never really go wrong with a flashlight, man. Flashlight's always a plus. This, let's talk about this. Uh, honestly, this was my favorite. This thing right here produced my favorite effect out of all the items that I picked up today at the dollar store. Usually when you use cups in front of your lens, you get like kind of like a clone effect of the subject in a shot. But the fact that this is blue helps separate the actual person in the shot from the clone. So it felt like a like a like an alter ego type of thing for me when I look back at the footage. So this was some of my favorite uh, effects from this entire video. I love this. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about uh, the, the 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 sink strainer. This entire our video was filmed using Black Promis. If you look back, uh, and, and oh god, I'm so bad at this. If you look back in the background, you can see this light right here. Um, it's very like hazy and bloomy, and uh, this is a look of which you get from like Black Promise. So, using this, honestly, god, like looking at this next to the Black Promise footage, I couldn't tell the difference. This is using a fourth of Black Promise, this is Promise one fourth as well because it looks exactly the same. Now in comparison, like price wise, like I paid like $100 for this filter. So getting the exact same effect at a dollar store for less than five bucks. I don't know how much this costs. It couldn't cost more than five bucks though. Uh, it's crazy. Now before we get into the rest of these effects, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this episode, the people over at Squarespace. Now you guys see me talk about Squarespace all the time. It's a good place to be with online, yada yada. But in all seriousness, it's really important in this day and age as a creative to have some sort of website. To have an online portfolio where you can show your work to clients and it doesn't hurt to have some sort of blog or storefront for you to be able to sell services and also document behind the scenes of that work. So websites are crucial. For the people out there who have no experience at creating a website and it kind of intimidates them, Squarespace has built-in designer templates which are so easy to use. And even if you run into an issue there, they also have award-winning customer support that is 24-7. So if you ever find yourself in a jam, you can just hit them up right in the chat and they'll hit you right back. So for the people out there who are interested in taking their brand to the next level, Make sure you guys hit up squarespace.com right now and start your free trial. You can also head over to squarespace.com forward slash YC Imaging for 10% off your first purchase. Link will be down in the description. The next thing that we're gonna talk about is these, these reading glasses. The effect from these was really dope as well. I really enjoyed this. So I forgot to mention all the effects that I did in this video were basically foreground items. So I was using a 51.4 with a low aperture down to like a 1.8. And I would recommend if you guys are trying to do effects similar to this, you use some sort of telephoto lens that has a fairly low aperture just so you don't see the images of the actual item right in front of the lens. It's just gonna make it look way better. So all this stuff was foreground, me just basically waving this stuff in front of the lens. I forgot to mention that. So with this, I just punched out the lens from these reading glasses and I just waved it in front of the lens and the effect that it gave off was very, uh, very similar to that of like a, like a duplicate, but it's very soft and like blurry and uh, it's very similar to that of what you see in a lot of like high budget music videos. So really dope effect right there for sure. Next thing that we're gonna talk about is this iridescent material that was on the folder. Now me, when I tried this, I couldn't really get anything that I was feeling, but Millie came up with a genius idea. Um, what she did was she put this in front of the camera and then she shined the flashlight at it. Uh, and the colors that were coming off of the iridescent paper were coming back into the sensor and just creating that RGB uh, split effect onto the image, which was really dope. And the last, but definitely not least, this random sheet of pink rhinestones. With this one, I tried to do some stuff, wasn't really getting anything with Millie Campbell with a genius idea again. So if you shine the flashlight at this, you can probably see it right here. You can see it's kind of like creating a sparkle. So we did this towards the camera and that sparkle that was coming in just created a really dope effect for the footage. We ended up cutting out the middle part of this so you can kind of differentiate 
the subject and the shot uh, as opposed to the effect around it. It's really dope. It's, it's an acquired taste though. It's gotta be something that you're, you're, you're going for, you know? Uh, but that's pretty much it, man. All the other things were creating a very similar look of which the, the, the eyeglasses were creating. And I just felt like these look way better than all the other ones. So if you're looking for this like effect right here, just grab this, the, the, the reading glasses. Don't get any of the other things. Hopefully this is some inspiration to you guys to go out and get creative. It doesn't cost a lot of money to be able to create some effects. And the really convenient thing about creating these effects in camera is that you don't have to go and add them in post. It's gonna speed up the process and it's gonna be original. All these effects are gonna be original depending on how you want to apply them to your footage. Everybody can use a flashlight, but uh, you can make your shot original by flashing the flashlight faster or slower or from the top or from like, you know, all this stuff is going to be original. So I think that that's a really dope thing about creating the effects in camera. If you guys can do me one favor, I want you to go down to the comment section and let me know what was your favorite item from this haul? What created the effect that you liked the most out of all of these items? If you guys have any other questions about this, make sure to also drop that down in the comment section as well. If you're new here to the channel, consider subscribing. Drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, man. I'm out, guys. Peace. Thank you